you know, you know, we bet at this thing, man. Black Hebrew Israelites are Christian part four. Now I was gonna stop, but these Christians is crying in the comments because these Israelites is crying. Come on now, stop crying. Y'all still crying about Isaac, but the covenant was in Isaac. The covenant was in Isaac. Well, the covenant was broken in Jacob. The covenant was broken in Jacob. Wake up. God divorced Israel. Now you saying Jesus married Israel? Now according to the law, can a father and the son marry the same woman? No. God forbid. What's wrong with y'all breakdowns? Y'all don't get it. That God divorced Israel. And if a man divorced a wife, can he go back to her? No. God saved Israel in Ishmael. He had to remember the covenant that he made with Abraham because the covenant he made in Isaac was broken in Jacob. So God had to help Israel by going to the father of the Gentile messenger, and that is Abraham, okay? And the prophet spoke these things in the beginning. Right there in Genesis 49 and 10, Jacob seen this. He said that the scepter would not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until. That means it's going to depart. It's going to leave. And it's going to leave when Shiloh comes. And we know that Shiloh is the peaceable one. Shiloh means to whose right it belongs. God told us in Ezekiel, and thou, profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. Thus saith the Lord God, remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more until he who comes, whose right it is, and I will give it him. God was talking about taking the kingdom from Israel right here in Ezekiel. He said, I will abase him that is high. That means I will bring down him who is high, who is high above all the nations. According to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, Israel was high above all nations. God has abased them and he has exalted them of low degree. God even allowed the Christians to rule over Israel. And there's coming a day when God will allow the Muslims to rule over the Christians. Wake up. You have no true prophecy because you have no true prophets. These Christians is going crazy, and I'm talking about you Israelites, because you Israelites ain't nothing but a Jesus is God believing Christian. You say Jesus is not God, but you a liar, because you believe the letters of Paul, and Paul says Jesus is Lord. Paul says Christ was God manifest in the flesh. What's wrong with us? The white man is not afraid to say Jesus is God. Okay, the black man is afraid to say Jesus is God, although he believes Jesus is God. He believes Jesus helped God create the world. He believes the letters of Paul, as I've already said. The Palestinian will profess to you right now that Jesus is not God, but you hate a man like that. What's wrong with you? You know you are an idolater. And you just don't want to keep it real. You are in idolatry. Then they forget the promise that God made to Ishmael. God said before Isaac was even born that he was going to make Ishmael a great nation. This was already in the heart of Abraham. God had circumcised the boy. That means he was in a covenant. 
Paul talks about another covenant. He said it is written, two sons. That means two covenants. Even though Abraham had eight sons, he spoke of a covenant with Isaac and he spoke of a covenant with Ishmael. And when the covenant was broken in Isaac because of the nation of Israel, which came from Israel himself, God had to go back to that covenant. He had to go back to that promise that he made to Abraham. That's why Abraham is the father of many nations. OK, he's not just the father of Israel. He's the father of all nations. Your camp leader's knowledge is whack. I'm still waiting on them. They in the comments hiding. Don't want to do a live discussion. Don't want to do a live debate because they robots. All they do is follow the IUIC packet. That's all they do. They all sound the same. They have no true prophecy and God was the one who said he would make Ishmael a great nation 12 princes shall come from his loins Ishmael was the replacement for Israel Ishmael has supplanted Israel right now today Ishmael is in the real Israelites land what you thought read your Bible wasn't the real Israelites Digging their children from beneath the pounds of the rocks. Wasn't the real children of Israel children being martyred? And they was making them serve in the brick in the mortar? What are the Palestinians doing right now? They are digging their children from beneath the pounds of rocks like the real Israelite. Why are you fighting with your baby mama? Okay? You got so much hatred towards a religion. That gives you the opportunity to marry up to four women since you want to be a player so bad. Y'all in these Israelite camps committing adultery. Okay. Now in the Torah, they were permitted to marry multiple wives. Who put an end to that? Your boy Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing. He is against the law of God's creation. He tells you to be single. He wants you to be single. OK, he wants to stop the flow that God said in the beginning, be fruitful and multiply. But you got a problem with a nation of people that believe in the truth, the truth that your Torah tells you. God wasn't against the marrying one, two, three and four. He wasn't against that. He just wanted you to be able to provide for that woman. But your boy, Paul, your Messiah. OK, your rabbi, your teacher, he put an end to that. He wanted all men to be like him. So you know what? Why don't you just be single? OK, <laughs> just be single. Be single since you a player hater. Yeah, you the biggest player hater. You hate in a nation that has rights that you don't have going on <laughs> for you to this day. Ishmael is in Israel's land. Why? Because Ishmael was the replacement for Israel. Uh-huh. Yeah. You didn't realize that God was going to remove the mighty from their seats. Who was the mighty? Israel was the mighty. God removed the mighty from their seats and he exalted them of low degree. It's the same thing with Lucifer. Lucifer was high above and God cast him down just like Israel. Israel was high above. And what did God do? He cast them down and he let another take their place. Wake up. You holding on to false hope. Israel has not had a king in 2,500 years. Peter didn't have the kingdom. Peter was in captivity. When Jesus came, he wasn't the prophet like Moses. He didn't deliver them from Roman captivity. There was a prophet by the name of Mohammed. See, rhymes with prophet, prophet Mohammed, peace be upon him. He came and he delivered his people from oppression. He hammered his people into a nation with a law. The Quran, if not you tell me who is Deuteronomy 33, and two, talking about a man coming from 
Paran with 10,000. And from his right hand went a fiery law. A new book that is none other than the prophet Muhammad. And you Christians got the nerve to say Jesus was a prophet like Moses. Jesus didn't have a wife. Jesus wasn't born naturally. He's nothing like Moses. He is nothing like Moses. Moses wasn't killed. According to the Christians, Jesus was crucified. The only prophet of history who can be remotely compared to Moses is the prophet Muhammad. And a Christian scholar said that. Get the Bible dictionary, the Collins Gym Dictionary. It tells you that the only prophet in history who can be compared to Moses is the prophet Muhammad. And a Christian scholar said that amazingly. These Christians is lost. They are lost in the sauce. They are so racist, okay? They so racist towards the Ishmaelites. Man, they hate the Arabs more than they hate white people. And that's the truth. Nathaniel, he hates the Arabs more than he hates the so-called devil. And the Arabs are the only nation of people that is the most disassociated from the white man. Okay? The Ishmaelites do not get along with the white man. But you hate the Arabs. But you say the white man is the devil. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You say the Arabs are number two on God's hit list, but you say the white man is the devil. I, I don't get that. If the white man is the devil, why is he Christian just like you? <laughs> he Christian just like you. He believed everything you believe minus Jesus being white and you believe in him being black. Y'all all believe that Paul was the last messenger, okay? So y'all all agree that Christianity is the truth and that Jesus died for your sins, okay? How come he doesn't have a religion called Islam? Because y'all say Islam is of the devil. Y'all say Allah is of the devil, subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he is of the devil, how come he ain't number one on the hit list? I don't get this. These Christians are racist. They are hating a nation of people who has done more than our own nation. And that's the truth. When Islam took off, they dominated in the Turkish Empire, in the Ottoman Empire, okay? They was the only nation of people to defeat the Roman Empire in their day, okay? Now, you got to give credit where credit is due. Even the real Muslims, such as Khalid Muhammad and Malcolm X, had respect for the Palestinian. Where is your respect for the Palestinian? The problem is you racist. The problem is you so far up the white man's ass, even though you say he's the devil, that you have no love for your fellow brother, okay, who has been bit by the same dog that we all have been bit by, okay? You racist, okay? And you don't want to recognize that God has rose up someone that's better than you. God rose up a man by the name of Mohammed, peace be upon him, and made him the Gentile messenger and made him a mercy to all of humanity. God has even used him to save the Bini Israel. Wake up, okay? Why you think there's Hebrews in your Bible that named themselves Ishmael? Israelites naming themselves Ishmael, naming themselves Ishmael. Why? Because the real Jews had a racism towards Ishmael. They knew that God was not going to forget about Ishmael. And God has used Ishmael to be the savior of all of mankind. And that's through the prophet Muhammad. These Christians have no knowledge of the Bible whatsoever. They don't even understand the types and the shadows. Then they want to talk about keeping the commandments. Well, the commandments say that the son shall not die for the father. And the father shall not die for the son. 
Every man is going to be accountable for his own sins. But the Bible says the son shall not die for the father and the father shall not die for the son. Every man is going to be accountable for his own sins. Every man is going to die for their own sins. Well, what the hell is going on in the New Testament? Because in the New Testament, it's the opposite of what God said. God said in Deuteronomy 24 and 16, in 2 Kings 14 and 6, in 2 Chronicles 25 and 4, that the son is not supposed to die for the father. He says it over and over again. In Ezekiel chapter 18, the whole entire chapter is talking about every man dying for their own sins. Well, what the hell is going on in the New Testament? We had a wolf. Yep, we had a wolf by the name of Saul, B.K.A. Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing who came along and has deceived all of mankind. Paul is the only person in the entire Bible who says plainly verbatim that Christ died for your sins. Nowhere else and no one else said this. Now, this is very advanced. That's why you're talking crap. That's why you have nothing but negativity when you hear this message to come out of your mouth. Why? Because this is too advanced for you. Why? Because you haven't read the Bible. You just picked up the Bible when Nathaniel came along. You just picked up a Bible when the Israelite movement popped off. Okay? You wet behind the ears. I've been studying this Bible for 20 years. Okay? 20 years ain't nothing to some people, but it's more than how long you have been studying. Soon as Nathaniel popped up in purple and gold, then you picked up a Bible. And that's why it's so easy to trick you and to deceive you and to pull the wool over your eyes because you don't know nothing. Telling everybody else they don't know nothing when you don't know nothing. IUIC doesn't know anything. If they believe Jesus died for your sins, they don't know anything of what the entire Old Testament has been talking about this whole time. You don't know the scriptures like you put off. And that's why you are so easily deceived and you don't even understand that Paul was the wolf in sheep clothing. I keep telling you, the black man's problem is Paul, 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 all day. Now, I have a metaphor, and I'm going to leave you with this one. This is Joseph. Joseph was a type and shadow of Jesus. Now, when you go to the story of Potiphar, and when Joseph was in Potiphar's house, Potiphar's wife caught him by his garment and she said lie with me now Potiphar is a picture of Paul the wolf in sheep clothing get it Potiphar the fur okay he left his garment in Potiphar's wife's hands now Potiphar's wife is the Christian church now this is proof that Jesus has nothing to do with the Christian church, just like Joseph does not have anything to do with Potiphar's wife. He left the garment in her hand. Who is the garment? Who is the fur? The wolf in sheep clothing that Jesus warned about, okay? Your church don't have Jesus as their Messiah. Your school doesn't have Jesus as their Messiah. They have Paul. Boom. BKA, hollow Fernandez. And Judah's hands shall be in the neck of his enemies, just like Judah's hands was in the neck of her enemy. Hollow Fernandez, we know who the enemy of God is. The enemy of God is Paul, BKA, the false prophet of Revelation. Your church needs to wake up, your school needs to pick a new leader. Okay, you are being misguided. I am in the house of David. I call this the house of David because I have the metaphor that the house of David is Islam. Okay, and the house of Saul is Christianity. That's why it's called 
House of Saul, duh, okay? And we teach that the house of David and the house of Saul is going to continue to war until the end. The Christians have the kingdom, but it will be taken from them. One day coming soon. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.